Welcome to Resman Health. In this session, we provide an introduction to planned preventative maintenance, PPMs, in Resman. This help video is an overview of Resman PPMs and covers the five stages required to successfully setting up, maintaining and operating PPMs and separate more detailed help videos are available for each stage. Although you may already have created an asset register to operate the help desk, we suggest you view the asset register video to familiarise yourself with its layout. As we move through this overview, we will provide a brief description of each of the stages which will help you with planning. This is a flowchart of the entire PPM process. You'll notice how we also have a progress bar at the top of the slide, highlighting the five stages to achieve a successful PPM planning year. As we move through the stages, the progress bar will colour green to highlight our progress. The Resman PPM planning year contains all PPMs due in a user-definable 12-month period and is stored by week number. We set the start and end dates for each year. The plan can be fine-tuned at any time during the year and work is transferred at regular intervals into work in progress when it falls due. Stage 1 covers the control file and the supporting work code files, which are found in the administration section. This is where we set up our planning year start and end dates. Whilst you could set up a planning year between any range of dates, the system has been designed to conform to an ISO compliant PPM year, and Resman support staff can give further details on this if required. We can also set up target planning thresholds as numbers of jobs and required hours, and this feature uses traffic light colour coding to highlight work demand in the annual plan, and this assists capacity planning. We also use the administration area to set up the support supporting code files for assets, work and staff. If you utilise the stock control module, you can also link stock parts required for PPMs. Finally, we also suggest you view the help videos on document management as this offers many benefits in running your PPMs where you can print any compliance documentation together with associated work checklists, safety notices uh, and as for example with fire door checks, a list of doors to be inspected. Stage 2 covers the creation of our PPMs and this is located in the work section. We create our PPM references and then we add work content to, to them as PPM jobs or tasks. And we can have as many jobs for a PPM reference as we wish. And this, covers flex, this also covers flexible calendar frequencies. Stage 3 covers interfacing with our asset register of medical devices, buildings, plants and equipment, etc., getting ready to add our PPMs. We can add our PPMs either directly from within the asset record or from the PPM reference list globally to multiple assets. Once we've added a PPM reference and start date, it leads us into stage four, the planning stage. However, it's, it's worth mentioning at this point that if we need to alter any aspect of a PPM job based on a geographical location, for example, a different estimated time or work detail, we can also create a PPM variation of an existing PPM job with a simple two-stage wizard that guides you through the process. Stage four is the planning stage where the PPM planning year is automatically created by the simple process of attaching a PPM reference and a start date to an asset. We can view the PPM plan in a number of ways through a calendar view with our work thresholds traffic light colour coding, through 
a scheduling 52 or 53 week view and a PPM detail list. And on these forms, we can transfer jobs between weeks to smooth the plan. Finally, stage five is the PPM processing stage where we transfer work from our PPM planning year directly into work in progress and we print dockets or transfer onto PDAs. We then process work and feedback job details in the normal way through to completion and transfer completed work into history. This ends the PPM overview of Re Resman PPMs.